After a year hiatus, it was time to get the Portage project back on track. The incredible efforts of the first men and women's team set the stage and provided a baseline for the rest of the project to build on. In 2018, a total of 20 kilometers of the route was completed, which entailed cutting 12 portages ranging from 100 meters all the way to about 700. It was rugged terrain and the challenges significant, including the conditions they experienced. But they did it, and it was time to continue from where they left off. Here is the next chapter in Season 2 of The Portage Project. Good morning! It is July 1st, Canada Day. So first off, I'd like to wish all of you a happy Canada Day. And uh, secondly, I am super stoked, super stoked that well, I am heading out on a canoe trip with five other amazing women that are volunteering to be part of rediscovering a long lost canoe route. So I'm about to meet them at Highway 400 and uh, at Davis Drive. I just uh, stopped by McDonald's and got them coffee. I want to make sure that they're all caffeinated up <laughs> for the long drive up and I'm totally stoked for the trip. And uh, I'm sure these women are, are pretty uh, are ramped up as well too. We've uh, There's been a long, lot of uh, discussion going on um, in terms of preparation for this trip and, and the anticipation is pretty high. So I'm looking forward to meeting them all, get to know them through this trip and experience uh, creating this new uh, canoe route uh, that's been long lost. So I'm really looking forward to it and I'm totally excited. As you can uh, tell by the enthusiasm by my voice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Marcy! Oh God, that's so <laughs> Hey Teresa! <laughs> 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 Including my husband. <laughs> Hold your back, Rob David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marcy is supplying us with uh, our shots for the trip. Saddleback. So it's maple bacon flavored whiskey. I've had maple whiskey, but bacon flavored? That's a new one. That sounds disgusting. It's going to be odd. After transferring all the gear and canoe over, we were off. We had one more person to pick up along the way before our team was complete. Yes! This is it! This is my tripping shirt! I want to be clean for one day! It's never going to be. You got it dirty already. <laughs> we were soon in Perry Sound where we picked up Leanne. And yes, if you're accounting, that was Leanne number two to make things confusing. Now that the team was complete, the trip was finally on. Oh, and if you didn't notice, we all got lays from Marcy to welcome in this trip. But little did we know how welcome we'd all be. After months of chatting online and exchanging information in preparation for the trip, it was nice to see how quickly the ladies gelled together, especially since many of them were meeting for the first time. Even though we all came from different backgrounds and experiences, as well as in regards to canoeing, we were now all of one mind and purpose as we made our way north towards our destination. Okay, we are just in Espanola, or actually just north of there at the junction. Um, we just topped up with gas. We're gonna be turning soon into Agnew Lake Road. 
and making our way up to the lakes. So we just want to make sure we top up with gas because we don't know how much driving around we're going to uh, do in order to find our access point. Now we do have one part we know that we can access but there's another section that we want to see if we can get access to the lake um, that's kind of be might be a little sketchy. But we do have a chainsaw, we have shovels and, and a saw in the vehicle in case we run into like down trees or, or holes and things like that. So it might be quite, a bit, uh, quite an adventure just even finding the access point. So that's why we want to top up with gas so that we're, we're, we know that we've got lots of uh, extra mileage on the vehicles. Just waiting for Leanne and then we'll make our way. We were soon on logging roads after a short drive on Agnew Lake Road. From here, it would be another hour before our planned destination at Sea Creek. But here's where things took a turn for the worst. If you don't know already, there is rarely a TPP trip that doesn't have some hiccup along the way, and this one was no exception. The first hiccup was entirely my fault. I wanted drone footage of the vehicles on the logging road, and it would have been a simple low flyby. All I had to do was go straight. I even had the drone positioned correctly. But when I started, I ended up moving it further to the left, thinking I had to correct. But now I was on the wrong trajectory, and that just got worse. I tried to pull out, but in the end, hit a tree and crashed. It took some time, but thanks to Heather, we were finally able to locate and retrieve the drone. Needless to say, I felt like an idiot. But this was just a warm-up of what was to come. So this is Elsie's Creek that we traveled underneath. Continued down there two years ago. And now we're going to continue on. There's a big parking lot here where, yep, there's big equipment. We considered parking here if we could get permission, but it's too far. So we're going to take another road just further down and we'll be turning right soon. So we just turned off into a uh, off the main logging road and this one is a lot more narrower it only has space for one vehicle as you can see and uh, this one will get us to Sea Creek above where the washout is and this is uh, probably where we're gonna end once we get to the end of this road uh, we had another option that we're not gonna explore just because it's too late and uh, we have to still do a shuttle so that's where we're gonna end the day so hopefully we can get to the end, no problem. But it looks like the road's in great condition, so I don't uh, foresee any problems. And that statement couldn't have been further from the truth. Wait, let me give you some background information so you understand what is going on here. Our plan was to get here, Sea Creek. We originally planned to drive up this road, but we found out on the stat map this bridge was washed out. This is why we are currently on this secondary logging road to get above the washout and continue with the shuttle to Mazabong Lake. While driving down the secondary road, we soon noticed the other vehicles weren't behind us, so we stopped and waited. This was the next logging road incident. I was gonna get a flat tire. Yeah. So, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that well, so we just came down a off a hill and we just got a flat tire on Heather's okay. vehicle. So we're going to try to inflate it and hopefully it doesn't leak too fast because we're not too far from the end and hopefully from there we can try to deal with the leak. We tried to inflate the tire but the leak was substantial so we had no choice other than to swap it out for the spare donut. This also meant we were limited in our driving speed but at least we were moving again. Despite this, it was nice to see everyone was still in good spirits. So ladies, what are we doing here? This can go, this is what's going on. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, more problems. Um, the road was good up until this point, and we're, now we're going uphill. But this dirt uh, has been also washed out, but is really, really soft. And you can only get up with a four-wheel vehicle, four-wheel drive vehicle with clearance, which we were able to do with a Subaru. But Heather's car that has a donut and it's low clearance, it's spinning. We, we tried and it's not working. So 
we've got to go back. All our plans are going to change. Our hope is to go back to the bridge and start at Elsie's Creek there. We're going to see if we can park at that parking lot where the, all that um, trucks and, and gear was placed. We're going to talk to, hopefully there's someone there that will give us permission to park there. And then we'll have to start our trip there. So we're going to be set back. Now we won't be able to do a, uh, we have to do a there and back. So it's truly changed the dyna dynamic of the trip. But considering what's going on, what happened, it is what it is. So we have to make the best of what we've got. All right, so let's go back. On our drive back, this explained why everything was going wrong on this road. If only we'd known. Um, well, let's just all dump it here and we'll okay. kind of sort it out. Yeah. Look who we have here. A bunch of badass ladies. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back at the bridge at Elsie's Creek. Well, this, part of the this is uh, the, I guess this must be uh, forestry or some kind of uh, natural resource work and they're, they're camped here. So we've got permission for us to park here. So what we're gonna do is access Alsea's Creek from this bridge. And this is the this is a bridge that the last women's team had uh, traveled underneath. So of course, this is setting us uh, much further back, but under the circumstances, this is what we, uh, this is the best we can come with. In fact, this was gonna be the original plan to start from. Uh, and it's kind of funny how it's come back to this because we thought we had a better plan. It just didn't pan out. So we're gonna unload, portage stuff to the creek, move the cars over and we'll finally get the trip started and right now it's almost 10 after 4. We quickly got unpacked but being the first day we also had a bit of sorting out to do. We're smudging for a safe journey, we're smudging for strength. We're smudging for teamwork, strong legs, strong arms, strong heart, strong mind, togetherness. Awesome. Thank you. Anyone else? New for safe journey, safe passage. We ask permission to be on this land and to be on, on these waters. And all that. We then were all given as much ceremony by Leanne, including the canoes. A nice gesture that helped ensure our safe travel and well-being on our outing. Considering how things started, we probably should have done it before we even set off. Thank you, Liam. Yeah. Now there's a good chance my canoe will come back in one piece. <laughs> With everything sorted out and the blessings in place, it was time to finally start the trip as we began hauling our gear and canoes to Elsie's Creek. Does this count as a portage? Uh, kind of. <laughs> a warm-up portage. So we're just coming to Elsie's Creek. We're gonna head right down. Oh, we might get wet. Let's see how deep this creek is because... No, we're walking the creek. We are? It's already shallow. Very. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks a little similar, but... Yeah, it's hard to say. Do you want to go down that way? So, first official portage. Start the trip. Just a quick little, maybe about 50, 60 meters to Elsie's Creek. And we're just going to put in the creek below and start the journey. It's almost five o'clock. So our, our goal today uh, will simply be to get to Surveyor Lake and camp there for the night and then we'll start the fun part tomorrow mind you it's already been quite the adventure just to get here so that one's my canoe if you can just give that to i'll go get the last canoe oh my god are you excited <laughs> finally at stepping in nice and with that with a quick photo under the bridge late in the day we were finally off. So we officially started, it's just 10 after five. If you look back, there's Elsie's Creek Bridge. All right, 
And Teresa's already enjoying the paddling part of the, the trip. <laughs> Heather and I warned the ladies that paddling the canoes would likely not be the primary mode of forward movement yeah. on this outing. So with levels of Elsie's Creek down, it wasn't surprising we were already walking. So there's a bunch of deer flies and horse flies, but there are a bunch of dragonflies flying above our heads as well too. So thankful dragonflies are here to pick off a few. It's a little deep. You could probably paddle this part. Yeah, you can paddle through this. There were definitely sections where we could paddle, but they never really lasted very long. So it was simply about determining whether it was worth it, getting in and out of the canoe. And other times, it was simply about picking the right channel. There's an echo over there. <laughs> and there's the dynamic duel. So we we're on the big body prior to Elsie's uh, lake. So we're going to go through the narrows. There's a little bit of a small portage and then we'll be making our way to um, Elsie's lake. So we're just doing, this is like a 50 meter short portage. And there's the ladies. So Elsie's Creek is definitely down. It's a uh, much, uh, more shallow than two years ago. This section Mary and Heather cut and it's way above the water. So we're gonna do a lot more dragging today. All right, my partner's taking her down. Just arrived at our campsite for tonight in Elsie's and it's hard to see anything but uh, it kind of the trail goes up the hill through that opening there so camp for the night yeah Happy Canada Day, guys! Okay, it is... It's just after 7.30 and uh, we are in the forest that the girls had camped in two years ago. It's at the top of a hill and we're at Elsie's Lake. And so we're pretty much utilizing many of the same spots that we tented on before because we had already cleared it. But as you can see, people are wrapped up 
uh, because the bugs are pretty fierce today. There's another tent up there. And we've got, surprisingly, we thought there's going to be no black flies because of the heat, but there's actually a lot of black flies. Uh, there are some mosquitoes and uh, horse flies and deer flies. So pretty much everyone out for a snack today. So everyone's covered up. So we got the bug shelter set down there. And Marcy's doing supper tonight. She's doing that salmon dinner for us. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was a really different uh, ending to today. We thought uh, we would be on a, a different place, parked at a different place, but uh, we we're just making do with what uh, what we we're dealt with today. We rolled the punches. Exactly. And I think it's the combination of you and me that seems to... <laughs> creates chaos and disaster. Yes. Yeah, oh. definitely. It's hot, eh? It's very hot. Yeah. Thank so, you. Canada's uh, supper is starting with oh, fresh have... salad. Did you get a good shot? Uh, sure. <laughs> nice. Looks very nutritious. Thank you, Marcy. What kind of salad is that? Maple balsamic or? Um, <laughs> bacon. <laughs> bacon uh, maple whiskey. <laughs> Um, it is, it is, uh, poppy seed. What? It doesn't taste like it. It has... It tastes like vinegar. So it's Canada Day, and for evening libation, we have four <laughs> liters of... Bodacious! <laughs> Marcy was going to ensure that we weren't going to suffer any dehydration today. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. All right? Heather looks a little worried. <laughs> I'm not babysitting you drunks later tonight. <laughs> I'm going right to bed. You're on your own. Okay, yeah. does this red thing come right off? Anybody? Yeah, Squirt. yeah all of a sudden the wine is leaking Bueller, all over Bueller. your shoes. She's going to chug it. Right from your I have no idea. I've never... I don't even want nearly as much no. as that. When I say stop, I say stop. Please. You, but you really mean keep going. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll come back for more maybe. Who's next? Oh. How I'm a little want, bit because I can't drink wine. So. Oh, do you want whiskey? No. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. A few drunken moose might be fun. Cheers, Cheers yeah. to the TPP 2020 women's team. Woohoo! Woo Cheers, big ears. Mm. Yeah, check out the, the black flies that are in there. Spit it out in your wine. <laughs> I thought that's what you, I thought that's what you did. I thought you spit it out. Yeah. No? No, don't take pictures. <laughs> so guess what we're having for first night on this crazy trip? Salmon. Now what's the seasoning on that? You know? That's pretty freaking close. <laughs> <laughs> Might be blood if you get closer. <laughs> Do you see the sharp object in my hand? Yeah. It's a maple glaze. Maple glaze. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were going to say making maple, uh, bacon whiskey. <laughs> that will be what we drink with it. Yeah. To have a little cheers. And they're on actually cedar planks. Yeah. Little Look at cedar that. planks. Yep. So do you need the lid for the planks? Um. Our intentions initially was to grill the salmon over the fire, but due to all the bugs in the forest and being very late, we opted to just heat them over the stove. It worked out okay, and we enjoyed the delicious meal. Our late meal concluded with chilled Lindor chocolates for supper, thanks again to Marcy. But it was soon time to turn in. It was a long day and an unexpected one at that, but we were all together and still in good spirits. If this was a test of our resolve on day one, we were doing great, because there would be lots more trials and challenges to come as we were just getting started. Gourmet coffee in the back country. Oh, it smells so amazing. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Now we can all get along. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think these women are having a little too much fun. <laughs> There's no fun on this trip. Come on. No, never. One step in. <laughs> Mary, you met your match. <laughs> So we are just at the road and it looks like that washout is not a washout anymore. They might have rebuilt the bridge. We'll have to pluck your toe hair. <laughs>